Lulu's a, I, I think she's a very modern character. I think she's a, a character in a way that disappeared for several hundred years and she came back in this piece. You, you see the Lulu type in a lot of Greek and Roman drama and then she sort of appears in the 20th century. She's kind of, for me, what I find fascinating about her is she's, she's kind of everything we would all love to be. We would all love to be that wanton, that crazy, that wild. She's kind of like, you know, early Elizabeth Taylor. That, you know, she'd sort of have everything she liked, screw anything she wanted, go whatever way she wanted, and it would all be fine. And I think that's fascinating because I think the if there is a moral of this story, the character itself is an open book. She really is totally an open book. So I find that fascinating about her um, because it both attracts me and repulses me by the same same token. The story of Lulu is, is two plays put together, um, Pandora's Box and uh, um, Earth Spirit. When we first meet Lulu, she's, and her real name isn't Lulu, it's a made up name. It's anything you like, I mean she really is anything you ever want. So the suspension of the disbelief is, can we believe in, a, in this story of who this woman girl creature is? I can, because I think we see it all over the world. I think you see it I watched, I just switched on TV yesterday and I saw an episode of Maury and Maury was doing some story on child prostitutes in America. 12 and 13 year old girls who were prostituting themselves and pimping others, girls in their class. This was 2008 in America. Lulu is the same story, there's no difference. So suspension of disbelief is, do you actually ignore such a story or do you say this really happens and I think we these days have a tendency to believe that such stories don't believe don't don't happen they do happen that's why I think Lulu is a very uh, important story our society today is also driven so much by sex every piece of advertising you want to buy a bagel you get a sexy lady selling you a bagel I'm sick looking at it I'm no prude but I don't think it's necessary to sell a bagel and what this does today this piece is it teaches us and I think it's a little bit of a slap in the face to us that how the use of sex and how the use of relationship manipulation works in society all the way through history so suspension of the disbelief is do I believe that this girl was 12 or how old is Lulu in the story she's maybe 15 or 16 within the story but by the way so is Liu in Turandot so is Leonora in Trovatori. Leonora in Trovatori is about 15, if you're lucky. Is older is 16. So suspension of disbelief for me is, do you believe when you see some middle-aged lady who can play as older, but she's the only one that can play, she's the only one that can sing it, that she's really 16 years old? I need to believe in something. Um, and that's where I think this, this comes in. I think you believe it, you buy it in two minutes. And certainly the lady we have playing Lulu, it's just out of this world, Marley, she's a phenomenon.